For those who like to write as they teach, Microsoft Whiteboard could be for you. To access Whiteboard in a Teams meeting, click on the Share button, then click on the blue Microsoft Whiteboard square. Whiteboard in Teams gives you these coloured pens and an eraser. If you have a digital tablet and pen, you can use it to annotate concepts for students, just as you would a real whiteboard. If you don't have a tablet, I recommend clicking on the Open in App button and downloading the Whiteboard app from the prompt that pops up. The Whiteboard app will give you some very useful functions that the Teams version doesn't. Whiteboard is a free tool, so downloading the app won't cost you anything. When you click to download, you should get a pop-up from the Microsoft Store. And when you click Install, it may prompt a sign-in. What you will find when you put your Griffith email in here is that it doesn't like it. But if you just ignore this pop-up and close it, you'll see that Whiteboard is already in the process of downloading. So don't be put off by that sign-in. Once it's finished downloading, you'll get a launch button. I'm going to head back to my Teams meeting and click on Open in App. Once I do that, the app window will pop up in front of my Teams screen. Notice that our menu has expanded. We still have all the pens, plus Lenka's favourite, the Galaxy Pen, but we also have text for typing, sticky notes, and a button to import an image from your computer. If you click into this plus sign, you can import your PowerPoint or document. Just choose the PowerPoint you want from your computer and click Open, then click to select which slides you want to bring onto the whiteboard. Your whiteboard is infinite, so when you need more space, just drag it. If you're using whiteboard as a presentation tool, you can just open it up on your desktop prior to the session and then share your desktop during the Teams meeting. If you want to collaborate with students, you'll need to present the whiteboard in Teams to give everyone access. If they have the app, they'll be able to open it and contribute using sticky notes and text. If I drag my whiteboard app window across, you can see that it syncs to the one in the Teams window pretty quickly. I hope you have some fun using Microsoft Whiteboard, and remember, if you encounter any difficulties, just get in touch with someone from the LTC team.